We return to the story of Falcon Heaney, a six-year-old boy, Colorado boy, who was thought to be floating away on a balloon yesterday. A lot of people were already familiar with his family because they appeared on the reality show Wife Swap. Cherie Silver switched places with Falcon's mom on that show. Take a look. Lazy, and you don't want to do a damn thing. Miami started the project, and she finished it, and you suck! She's here. Cherise uh, joins us now from St. Augustine, Florida. Good morning. Good morning. What was it like to be on Wife Swap with Richard? Oh, um, being on Wife Swap with Richard was very challenging. He is definitely um, a very eccentric, um, aggressive, um, uh, talented, creative person. Yeah, he looks pretty intense. Yes, he was definitely intense. He definitely had a temper. Interesting. What, uh, when you heard about this story yesterday and you realized that Haney family name was attached to it, what, what did you think? My, my very first feeling when I saw the TV and I saw a flying saucer was, oh my God, Richard, what have you done? <laughs> that was my first feeling because him and I talked a lot about extraterrestrials and flying saucers and he had me fix his flying saucer and clean it and carry it out to the backyard. Uh -huh. And so a lot, of, a lot of our conversations were about um, me doing his experiments on me because I'm a psychic, so he had all these different experiments on me. Right. Uh, he had me in a cage, a copper cage, and, and so my first thing was, oh my God, Richard, did you do this on purpose? But then as I started to see it, I never felt a panic. I almost didn't feel like the child was in there. Right. And I did feel that it was going to be okay, but I wasn't sure at that point. I don't think he would have you know, done that intentionally. But I do think that um, his son was afraid yeah. and ran away. Right, yeah. So this, I want to go back to what you just said. Said. Richard, did you do this on purpose? I mean, that, so that literally went through your brain as, as you were that observing. Was a very f yes, that was the very first thought I had because it was like, oh my God. I mean, nothing's bigger than the whole news following a flying saucer. Mm -hmm. you, know, the, you know, it was just like, whoa, you know. I. But, but I, when I started to realize that everybody felt that the baby was in there, you know, mm. Falcon, I, it was kind of like, I, I didn't sense that. Yeah. But I, I, I just well, Let me ask you this that, question. Um, let me ask you this question. How would you describe sure. his relationship with his boys? Um, Richard is very much into um, engaging his children in his science experiments. Uh -huh. And, you know, he really, he really wants to share it all with him. That's why he actually takes them into tornadoes. I asked him that. Why do you take the children? I mean, you go do it if you, you're not scared and you don't want... He said to me he wants them to be there to witness it all. Uh -huh. He doesn't want to have an experience and his children not there. And, you know, I came to his house trying to bring some creativity and dance and singing and music. And mm -hmm. so the children had their own talent, you know. I think he engages his children a little too much to the point where they don't have any fear. They're fearless like him. And, you know, it, it wouldn't have put it past Falcon to jump in there because he did jump in the spaceship that Richard built when I was cleaning it. So. Right. You know, it, it would be something that he would do. So huh. I, after my initial feeling of thinking he did it on purpose, yeah. I then realized that he'd never put his son in the spaceship. So, right, you know. right. Okay. Uh, there's, as this thing has unfolded over the last 20 hours or so, there's just been this sort of feeling like something's not quite right. Could you describe in 20 sec seconds, do you have, some, do you have some, a similar thought? Um, no, I, I just feel that strange things happen to us even on the show. I mean, yeah. it, was Friday, it was Friday the 13th well, yeah, when yeah. the show aired, mm. you know, and there was all these really, really strange things that happened. I right. did a past life regression okay. on him. Right. He talked about being we a commander go. of a ship. Uh, we got to go. go. Sure, thanks very much for okay. talking to us. Take care. You're welcome. All right. Bye-bye. We'll